Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy. Welcome to day 16 of the Learn GIMP tutorial series. Today we're going to be changing this grass into water. So if you come over here, that is what it's going to look like when we're all done. I'll put a link to this image below so that you can download it and you can work on that from here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an alpha channel here to our first layer. I click that right there. And then we're going to duplicate this layer. So then you're going to come right down here and hit duplicate. And now, for now, we can just hide the bottom layer. We don't actually need it. But we need to select this grass area now. So go ahead and select your free select tool. And then come in here and we will just select. If you hold down control, you can actually zoom with your wheel. And then if you hold down shift, you can pan. So we're just going to click outside the image right here. We're just going to select this grass area just like that. Now, if you make a mistake while doing this, you can just hit the backspace and it'll go back just to one. Instead of hitting escape or delete, you just hit backspace and it goes back to the, the last node that you clicked on. Let's quickly go ahead and do this. we go you can select outside of this image if you want I'm gonna pull this up hold down control scroll out with the wheel and then the last click will be where you first selected and then I'll give you that full selection okay after you have that selected what you need to do is we want to feather these it these edges right here so if I zoom in you'll see that this is just like a really tight turn like a 90 degree angle so what we need to do is we need to go up to select and then we need to go up to feather and we're just going to feather it by let's do seven it'll depend on how large the image is but for this one we're going to select seven that should be good all right now go up to your paint bucket right here and make sure that your foreground is set to black and we're just going to dump in black right here over the grass. Go ahead and zoom out there. Now what we want to do is shrink our selection. We currently have this selected still. We want to go up to select right here. We're going to shrink it. And let's shrink it by 12. And it says here shrink from image border. We actually don't want to shrink from the image border, so just go ahead and unselect that right there, and then hit OK. And then you'll see that it only shrank from the top part because this is part of the image border. And we didn't want that to shrink from there. So now that that's shrunk, we can actually delete this right here. And we should have that hidden, remember, and then we're just going to see this alpha channel here. That's the gray checkered box. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to deselect this. So we can either go up to select right here and select none, or we can just do control shift A, or shift control A, which is the same thing. So I'm just gonna do control shift A. And then what we're gonna do is we need to flip this bottom layer. So go ahead and select that and unhide that for a minute there. And then we need to flip it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this flip tool right here. And currently it should be set to horizontal on yours. Just make sure that it's set to vertical and then click in the grass area, making sure that you have this layer selected. Click it right there, and that'll flip it around. Once it's flipped around, we actually need to bring this down. So we're gonna select the Move tool right here. We're gonna select in that area again. Once we start to pull it down, if you hold Control, that'll straighten it out. Just make sure you start moving first, and then hit Control, and it'll straighten it out on the Z-axis. I'm gonna pan up by holding down Shift and clicking the middle mouse wheel. I'm gonna start dragging this again. Hold down Shift or control to keep it straight. Pull it down some more. And we actually need to pull it up here a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to line these bushes up. Bottom of these bushes. Almost there. Get rid of that grass line right there.
Great. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it now. And now what we need to do is we need to add a new layer and we need to make that layer white. So we're going to just from right here, we're going to select new layer and we're going to make the fill type white and then we're going to hit OK. And that'll put in a new layer right here in the middle. In the middle is where we need to make sure to have this. And we need to hide this right here, the top layer right there, because we're going to work on this new layer that we just created. The first thing we're going to do with this layer is we're going to render some clouds because we want to add some waves to our water. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have layer selected right here. And we're going to go up to filter and we're going to go down to render. We're going to go clouds and we're going to do difference clouds. So from here we need to make sure that our settings are correct and the Y size should be set at 4 if you're just on default. You just need to make sure to drag that over to uh, 13, 14, um, actually I'm going to do 14 here and then uh, X size can stay at 4 and you need to make sure you have turbulent selected and then you can hit OK. So from here we actually need to make sure that we have the perspective because we're not looking at the water straight on, we're looking at the water from an angle from the front of it. And so we need to come up to our perspective right here, perspective tool, select that, and then just click in this area and it'll bring up this little window. You can just move that out of your way. I'm going to put it right up there. I'm going to zoom back a little bit and then I'm going to pull these corners straight out each side. And what this will do is this will create an effect of the waves getting uh, smaller, getting tighter as they move farther away. So I'm going to pull these out about the same distance on each side as the full length of the images. About right there. So you see here this distance is about the same as this distance now. There we go. And same. And then we're just going to hit transform here. And this may, this may take a little bit of time, but just go ahead and be patient and it'll finish up. So now what I want to do is I want to drag this down and I need to turn on my upper layer right there. I'm not going to drag. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the scale tool. So I come up here and I select the scale tool right there. I'm going to click, make sure that I have this layer selected. Click inside those clouds. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to get it right there where the uh, water ends. I'll pull that down just a little bit right there too. And then I'm going to hit scale. And we'll wait for that to scale. Now one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to add some displacement. But before we do that, we need to make sure that all of these layers are the same size as the image. So we're just going to right click on this bottom layer right here. And we're going to do layer to image size right there. I want to click on this one right here. We're going to do layer to image size. And we're going to check this one real quick. And that looks like the top one stayed the same. That's just I just checked that to make sure I didn't accidentally grab it and pull it away at any point. So now that those are all the same size, we are going to add our displacement. And how you do that is you go to our layer right here. We can actually hide this layer. Just go ahead and hide that middle layer. And then we're going to go to this bottom layer right here, the White House, you know, White House South layer or whatever. You can't see what it is in difference to this one. But uh, we're, so we're going to select this bottom layer. Then we're going to go up to filter. And from filter, we're going to go to map. And then we're going to go to displace. So we scroll down to map and we're going to go to displace. Now from here what we need to do is we need to make sure that we use this layer as the displacement. So we select here, select that one right there. We select that one for the Y displacement as well. And then we make sure that we have smear selected. I think the default is wrap, but we want to make sure that this is set to smear. And this can be 2020 is fine. Uh, that should be good. Actually, yeah, 2020 is good. Okay, and then hit OK. And you can see that that layer now got smeared. And if you zoom in here, you'll see what I mean 
with these columns right here, you can see that these columns have a lot of noise right there now. Now what we want to do is we want to unhide this middle layer because we actually want to get some of the shadows from this middle layer. And so we can hit unhide right there by just clicking the, the, the eyeball. So you can see that it now is covering up that bottom layer. So what we want to do is we want to change this layer right here to a different mode. It's currently set to normal. So we select that right there. We select this drop down if you want. But if you click anywhere in this area, it'll pop up. And then instead of normal, we're going to go down to multiply right there. And you'll see now that you can see through it. You can see some of this darkening that's going on right here. And if you think that that's too dark or you want to lighten it, you can always bring this opacity down just like that. And you'll see that it lightened up a bit. But I want to bring it back up because I like it at about, let's do 80. There we go. Okay, so that now that that's set to 80, we need to do one more thing. And what we want to do is we want to blur this layer right here. So I'm going to come down to this third layer right here and we're going to go up to filter. We're going to go down to blur and we're going to do Gaussian blur and we're going to set it to 5.5. Five. Let's just do that. Five, five, five is fine. Blur method doesn't matter right now. So just do 5.5, five, five, hit OK. We'll see where it's at. And that looks okay. So you see that there's a little bit of blur going on. If I hit undo, you'll see that effect. Zoom in a little bit more. If I hit redo, you'll see the blur that happens. All right, and then you're done. That's it. Thanks for watching. All right, thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Again, my name is Jacob Williams. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I also have some Ruby programming tutorials and some SketchUp tutorials for 3D modeling and just some general uh, technology tip tutorials here, some Lumion, and then some life advice as well. So definitely check out the channel, and I will see you in day 17 of the LearnGimp tutorial.